Hey, good morning, Pastor Steve. Over in Matthew 20, beginning in verse 1, it talks about the kingdom of heaven there being like a man who hires laborers into his field. And the guys get up there early in the morning, and he says, I'll, I'll hire you for a penny a day. And then people come on at different hours during the day. Finally, at the 11th hour, one hour left of the day, basically, these guys come and he says, come on, what, what are you doing? He says, well, well, nobody hired us. And uh, it's because they weren't up and around. Um, uh, he said, well, go into the vineyard too, and whatever you, whatever's right, you'll get. So they went, the evening came, remember, and the, the Lord of the harvest was out there, and he was paying the people, and the 11th hour people came and he gave them a penny. Well, when it came to the guys who were there early in the morning, they expected more, and he gave them a penny. And they said, hey, that ain't fair, man. You remember the story? Yeah, that's not fair. He said, I didn't do you wrong. Did you agree to work for a penny? Oh, you yeah. Are you mad because I'm generous? Is that what your problem is? Is you mad because I gave these guys a great gift? Hmm. See, it wasn't really sensible, men, when men are speaking. Um, the slugs that didn't find work earlier is because they weren't there earlier. You know, they stayed home in the morning and played video games and such. Because it was hard to leave the house and mama's good cooking and breakfast and lunch and, and snacks and all that stuff. You know, Would you like to put in 12 hours a day and get paid the same as the guy who put in one hour a day? No. No. One of the problems with the relationship with Christ is that people want to work for it. They want to work for it. We're just like Adam and Eve, our first parents. We want to be self-determining. We can figure it out ourselves. We can do this. Well, no, you really, you really can't. The go-getters got what they had earned. But at the end of the day, they weren't satisfied. I think in the same way those who think their good deeds will, will get them into heaven will feel cheated when, when they see unworthy sinners get the inheritance, which is the gift of God. Don't you? What would your attitude be? Here's Jeffrey Dahmer. He said, oh, he came to the Lord in, in the ninth hour, or the eleventh hour. And yet, he said, he didn't deserve heaven. Well, of course he didn't. Neither did I. Philip Yancey says of, of this late hour, the thief on the cross would never study the Bible. He would never attend a worship service, never make amends to the people he had um, hurt. He simply asked Jesus to remember him when he got into paradise. And Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise. It's a shocking reminder, isn't it, that grace does not depend on what we have done for God, but rather on what God has done for us. You, you ponder that, Pastor Steve.